Who's the D-Marine? I'm the D-Marine! Alright guys, so we've got another... I got something in my kitchen that I want to get rid of. So I have bought beets a couple months back thinking I was going to make a beet smoothie for whatever reason. I think I thought it was like high in iron or something like that. I don't like the taste of beet smoothie. And I do this every time I buy beets, don't like the beet smoothie. I liquefy them into a juice, drink them and, you know, adding them to something else to make it work. Well, this time I want to try something different. I'm going to try and make a beet and black bean burger. I went on Pinterest and looked at several recipes. I'm totally winging it because I'm like, mm, I don't like every recipe I've seen. And we'll see how it turns out. We're starting with the black beans. It's so dark in here right now, guys. I'm going to mash them up. Um, I have seen a lot of recipes did the mashing instead of food processing with the black beans. So we'll do that. They have been mashed. Now we are going to food process the beets. Beets have been through the processor. We're going to add them in. Mind you, this is not all the beets that I have. I just didn't want to use them all and be like, oh, I don't like this. So... We're going slow. All right, the black beans and the beets have been mixed together. Now, I just need to figure out what I'm gonna use as my dry agent to get them to stick together, because that's very wet. I'm using oats. Some rolled oats as my binder. I'm just gonna throw it through the processor, make it a little finer. i add a little bit at a time and get my seasonings. All right, I'm going to add a little salt, pepper, onion powder, thyme, and adobo. I love adobo and almost everything. <laughs> so I got all the seasonings in and I added all the oats. Please don't comment below asking me for um, measurements because I don't measure. I just kind of go, oh, this looks good and add it. <laughs> it oh, I did it. It has a nice um, consistency of like ground beef. It's very sticky. I need to go get gloves though because beets stain. So I'm going to go get gloves. I can't decide though. Should I put them on a skillet in um, coconut oil for flavor or should I put them in the oven? I'm thinking skillet. So, somebody has used all my gloves. So my hands are about to get icky. And I'm gonna do it on the skillet with coconut oil. My hands are clean, yay! <laughs> I really should have used the stand so you guys could have seen more, but here are the black bean and beet patties. I am cooking them with coconut oil, hoping that gives them some nice flavor, and we'll see how it goes. It smells so good. Okay guys, so these turned out better than I expected. I really was expecting like some uh, beady taste or whatever. <sighs> they are so good. And I made them thin because I was reading um, on Pinterest on one of the forms or something I was reading. I said to make them thinner for whatever reason. I can't remember what the reason was, but it was a good idea. It's really good. They're almost kind of crispy using the oil, the coconut oil, it really give it a great flavor. Oh my God. I gotta eat one of these like whole now. I was not prepared to eat. I have no bread, no burger toppings, anything. So I'm just going to taste this 
like a like you do a burger that you had no bread, no meat, no ketchup on at all. Last seam. Oh my god. That's so good. That is so good. And it's crispy. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so good, guys. I'm gonna have to do this again with the rest of the beets. This is really, really good. Alright guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm sure I don't measure anything so I can share the recipe with you. But you saw what I added. I will this, a little that, to your heart's content. And I'll see you later. Bye.